Hi everyone, this is me, your English tutor, Shagal Yamanov. As you know, it is Sunday today, and today I've just planned to give you a virtual trip to one of the most famous historical sites in Lwap region, in Halish district, the Idrisvaba Madrasa. So, as you know, this is a very famous um, center of knowledge. It was a, a very famous center of knowledge before in the past. And today we'll just give you wonderful factors and interesting information about this wonderful place. So if you're ready, just follow me. The 18th century monument Idris Baba Madrasa is maybe the most well known by the fact that the great Turkmen poet Mahtumul Prale studied here. And how did it happen? And how did uh, Mahtumul Prale just uh, found that there is a uh, great madrasa? Uh, according to some uh, legends and according to some um, historical factors, it says that uh, the father of Mahtumul Devlet Mehmet Adade just uh, met Idris Baba in Bukhara and then there um, they just um, talked about the knowledge, the education and then the Dulit Mehmet Azadi really admired Idris Baba's knowledge and decided to send his son Mahtumuli to this madrasa. Many people think that this footprint belongs to Martumulu Prale, but no one is sure about it. They think that when he came here, he left his footprint on these clay bricks. The building itself is 7 meters by 7 meters a cube and the total height of the building is 5.5 meters. Actually this was only one of those, um, the small classrooms which was just um, left till our days. The, there were actually 24 of this kind of um, madrasa classrooms or cubicles in this area, but they were destroyed by different um, natural disasters or by the time. And this was made of um, clay brick and um, there were about 200 students who studied here in the uh, period of its flourished days. Nowadays um, there is a four column shed in front of this um, madrasa building and main door the entrance faces to uh, southeast we can see a wonderful carved wooden door and this is a really masterpiece and really beautiful and there is a just inscription which says for the honor of Idris Baba from Tajiv Tach. And this is really beautiful. We just appreciate his wonderful gift for this madrasa.
The around of this madrasa was once surrounded by uh, big, uh, tall walls. And on each corner of those walls, there were really big minarets or towers. And um, if you just climb up to those towers, you were able to see um, the areas, the villages, just beyond the Amadaria River. But by the time, as the uh, river sometimes just um, changed its flow, the river, the water, destroyed the walls around the Idriswawa Madrasa. Now, we are going to just take you to the virtual trip of the um, water base which was left from the flow of Amadaria River. Let's go there. People not only visit the Idris Fawak Madrasa, but only they just enjoy when they come here the great sun and the sand and also the warm water in this lake. Now, if you just come anytime, if you have just on the way, if you're just passing next to this village, it's the better, the best idea to come here and enjoy your swimming. The water is really clear and it's really warm in summer and it has some shallow parts and some deep parts so when you're swimming when you're swimming just be careful not to go to that deepest parts always stay in the shallow parts if you're not very good at swimming Enuk Nur, would you like to swim? No. Next time. Hmm? Next time. Next time. Behind me, you can see a very old uh, mulberry tree. Actually, in this area, there are a lot of great, with a lot of shade, the rich shade, mulberry trees, which gives the, which makes the air cool, and a lot of visitors just prefer to stay in the shade of these mulberry trees and enjoy the. Idris Babach Madrasa. So this is the end of today's our visit and trip to Idris Babach Madrasa. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give thumbs up and write your comments about today's video. So next time uh, we will just meet you in our different videos. Goodbye. See you next time.